Okay, back for some more Vintage Cube. What is good here? I think either of Steam Vents or Watery Grave is pretty good. I think Mana Vault's probably the pick, though. This can definitely do some broken stuff. Yeah, I think we just take Mana Vault. Okay, so here we have Bribery, pretty good. And we have kind of maybe nothing else I'd really be interested in taking. I mean, I think Gush is fine, but not something I want to be second picking. Bribery is just really good. I mean, Animate Dead is good if you know that you're going to be in that, but it's pretty specific. Bribery just kind of goes in any blue deck, so. We also get Opposition. That can't go in any blue deck, but it can certainly go in some. And it's very strong. What else would I be looking at here? Maybe Colonnade, maybe Search, or Factor Fiction. Yeah, we can just go ahead and take Opposition. So we're starting off with uh, two pretty busted blue cards, plus Mana Vault. So yeah, this does certainly present a deck building constraint of some type. I guess most classically you use it in a blue-green deck, but I could see you being able to do it in like a blue-white deck too. Okay, so we have Kiki, Faithless, Ancient Grudge, all pretty good. Pilgrim is possible. Spell Pierce is fine. I guess the most like on theme thing would just be Pilgrim. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure that you can really do an opposition deck in blue red. Maybe you can, but I think I'll just take Pilgrim. Though I'm not super happy about it. Um, Daredevil seems reasonable, but same problem. Cradle might actually be much better here with Opposition than it was before. Shardless and Elves of Deep Shadow are probably both also fine. Hmm. So I think that, like, the safe pick is Elves of Deep Shadow. And I think that Gaia's Cradle is the highest upside, so I think this early I'll, I'll take the higher upside one, but could be a mistake. Um, I mean, Upheaval is also pretty broken. <laughs> or we could just take a Fetch that isn't really necessarily in color. I think we just take Upheaval. Mana Dorks can work for Upheaval. Um, we continue to see red, but not like amazing red or anything. We could take wear tear or temple garden. I think it's probably a temple garden. This gives me outs for bant colors pretty nicely. Plus, I don't want to end up in a situation like in last draft where I had fetches and no uh, duels to fetch. That was unfortunate. Huh. Huh, indeed. It's so, like, I think that Relic Warder and Voice are both fine cards, but they're not really what I want to be doing here. I think Gideon Jura is fine and maybe is what I want to be doing here, since I do already have two white sources. Maybe it's possible, or maybe I still just end up blue-white. Um, by that argument, I could take like Spectral Procession, lean into blue-white, and then try to use white token making instead to try to feed the uh, the opposition. The upheaval won't be as good for sure if they're not mana producing, but. Hmm. 
Okay. I guess I'm in to try that. And then here we probably take Finks over Maze. Yeah, probably. Huh. There is a potential that Spear of Heliod could be okay here for the Anthem effect. If I actually do end up with like other similar things to Spectral Procession, I guess this is basically a creature. Um, I like Disenchant, but it's even main deckable. Gosh, they really seem to want me to be in White Weenies, don't they? We'll see. I don't really want to. So I would say the green does not appear to be open. And that we're probably somewhere here. White does seem reasonably open, so that's something. I still have the possibility to... Because I got mirror... Yeah, it's possible. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have... Tribe Elder I like, although we've kind of decided that maybe green isn't open. Recruiter of the Guard isn't getting me anything interesting right now, at least. I've never been a huge fan of Frost Titan. The fetches are fine. Either of these... Actually, this would be a pretty good fetch for Bant Colors, because it's already uh, fetching white. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it. But I might be hoping too much for green that's not going to end up coming. Um, I'm tempted to take Gideon here, but let's see what else is here, because this it does make tokens. Um, Awakening Zone is fine, but I don't think it's that exciting. Sheldock is quite good. So I think we're probably looking at Gideon or Sheldock. I think that the token production off this Gideon is probably what I'm in the market for. Elspeth Knight Errant? Eh. We also have other stuff here that's that pretty good. Like, here's a birds. Maybe green is open. But we could also just take, like, Revoker. Hmm. Nah, I'm going to take birds. I'm going to go ahead and say that maybe green is flowing from this direction. And since I do already have the Pilgrim, I'll slide it. This is all messed up. Um, okay. So this could be Elder, I guess. It could be a Breeding Pool. I think it's probably just breeding pool. This gets fetched by Misty. Yeah, okay. So I've passed up two good mana producers, so I have to be a little bit careful. So here I could just take Wall of Roots. That works with Opposition. Avenger of Zendikar works with Opposition. It's also possible that Smuggler's Copter might be good enough here, but nah, these are both zero. Yeah, I don't think so, actually. Blade Splicer is reasonable. Hmm. So now I have three ramp, four ramp cards. I think this is between Splicer and Avenger for sure. I think I'll take a. Avenger. <clears throat> so I guess I have a few options here. It's probably E-Witness, but Parallax Wave is also reasonable. 
But I think it's probably E-Witness. Uh, Spyglass is always good. I think that's probably what we're taking here. I don't care so much about tokens. Like, I don't even have the, uh... I don't, right? No, Spear's over here. So yeah, let's just take the Spyglass. Interesting that I got... Well, I first picked Bribery. Then I took Opposition. I got kind of a late upheaval. And we're kind of getting back to the place where upheaval might be good. I have four ramp guards. Well, yeah. Um, does Recruiter get me anything interesting now? You witness? So, no. So, I guess I'll just take the Savannah. I already have Temple Garden, it's not that big a deal, but... Um, what do I think about Awakening Zone, since it came back? It works well with, uh, Opposition. Disc isn't bad, Primus isn't bad. I think I'll try it, though. It goes so well with Opposition that... Maybe it's worth it. Works with Gaia's Cradle too. So I missed the Elves of Deep Shadow and the Wow, the Revoker comes back? I'll totally take that over Sea Chrome. I've always felt that Revoker was quite good. And Elder comes back. I even thought about taking that. Uh is Clamp good here? Yeah, Clamp is actually reasonable here. One, two, three, four ish. Five, six, seven, eight ish. Yeah. Clamp is actually pretty good here. Wow. Copter came back too. And Parallax Wave came. I actually think Parallax Wave is, is pretty decent. Am I wrong? Okay, so here we have Sun's Champion. Really good for token production. We have uh, two Signets and Worn Power Stone. I think with Upheaval, I'm probably more interested in just getting one of the uh, mana producers. Which one do I care more about? Simic Signet or Worn Power Stone, probably. More important than Selesnya Signet. I think I want the blue sources because I have I'm essentially like splashing three double blue cards, which is weird, but it's where we are at the moment. Mystic's probably what we want, although like Tarn would get green but not white. Okay. Not that exciting, I guess. So yeah, we'll just get Mystic. Monolith? Yes. In fact, Monolith, yes. Okay, we have, I don't want to splash another double blue card, so I'm not really looking at Jace. I don't think balance is going to be very good for me. I'm probably going to have a lot of creatures. Uh, Sylvan Library and Resto are both reasonable, but I don't really have much to Resto. Yeah, not really. So it's probably Sylvan Library. I 
I could take Ulamog as another ramp payoff. I do have a decent amount of ramp. I guess by that argument I could also take Worm Coil as a similar thing, but I think I can probably reach to Ulamog, so let's get that in here. Um, Swords is always reasonable. I also like sort of body and mind sometimes in these type decks because they can make my mana creatures into something threatening. But I think swords is efficient enough that we just take swords. Wall of omens or frailies probably. I have disenchant. I don't have rex age. This kind of provides a similar thing. I guess she also works really well with uh, the other various things I'm doing here. Question is just, do I want another five drop? Maybe. Wall of Omens is pretty good, but I'll take Fraley's. Uh, here's Rex Age. I will take Rex Age. Okay, Elspeth comes back, Selesnia, Selesnia Signet comes back. I'm not sure that I need Elspeth. Even though, yeah, Elspeth makes tokens too, but... And Din Protector I wouldn't have minded, but I think the Signet with the upheaval is where I want to be. O-Ring's pretty decent. Hmm. This looks okay. I wonder how many uh, lands I actually want to play here. So I have what? One, two, three, four. That doesn't count. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana rocks? Or mana producers of various types? Hmm. Razor Verge is totally fine. It does seem like where I was sitting, I did pick reasonably open colors, so that's good. I'm glad I shifted back to the green. I'm not sure why it felt like the green dried up, but I don't have balance anyway in case it's good in a specific matchup. So I probably want to be playing something like eight mana producers. I might be able to get by with like 15 lands. We'll have to see when I lay it out. We could just take out Awakening Zone. Oh, I didn't even count that as a mana producer. It kind of is. I could take out... Um, kind of like all the planeswalkers. Uh, what changes here? Spectral procession. Ah, I'll slot it as like a four-drop creature, I guess. Hmm. Like things that aren't amazing. Awakening zone is not amazing. Um, I guess I wouldn't say that Elder is amazing, but it's fine. It's also clampable. Hmm. So let's say that we take out, like, Zone. We take out, um, do I need Avenger? It's not like I have great synergy with it. I guess it does make clampable tokens, so that is something. Um, do I need E-Witness? It is a clampable creature, but that applies to a lot of stuff here, so maybe not. And maybe... Caught one more. Do I need both Gideons? Do I need Fraley's? I actually think Fraley's is probably good here. Do I need main deck? 
both of these removal spells. Maybe not. So like one of these, maybe one of the Gideons, maybe... Hmm. I don't really want to cut into my creatures anymore, honestly. So that probably means cutting like O-Ring or something. And then bring it in if it's good. Or maybe you like don't start the bribery. Since a decent number of decks might not have good creatures to bribe. Hmm. I think that's an argument. I don't know if it's a good argument, but maybe we don't start the bribery. Okay. We play Breeding Pool, Cradle, Misty, Razor Verge, Savannah, Temple. All my fixing is relevant. That's cool. So, free blue, blue sources are one, two, just two? Well, I'm going to play, yeah, I guess just two. So that probably means that I need something like, oh, we have birds as well. Birds counts. So like three, oh, and we have some exigent. Okay, so we have like four. That's more like what I thought. So we probably need to play something like two. Oh, in fact, it says two. Uh, green sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't count these. Seven, eight. 19, 11, 12, that might be too much. We might shift one of these to a white. And white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I think that's probably fine. Shifting like one of those over might be okay, but I really do need to hit. Oh, then we can count birds for that. Yeah, this is probably actually about right. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, I guess, is the blue. Again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six blue sources for three cards, but they're all doubles. Oh, we have Elder, too. That can help for something like blue. Yeah, okay. I think this is fine. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. There it is. We will play first. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. Let's keep. So, I think we are starting with Razor Verge into Elvish Mystic. Next turn we'll have three mana, so we can Rex Sage if we need. Or I could cast Simic Signet and still have two left for library, so that's probably what I want to do. Wait, is that true? Yeah, that is true. Okay. Um so let's just play this. Let's play this. play this. Okay. So next turn I have one, two, three, four, five mana for Fraley's. This is going nicely. Would I like to Sylvan Library? I think I would. Yes. Elder Forest. So I'm not casting Monolith this turn. I'm not really casting any of this this turn. So, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. I guess I could have made it to where I didn't have to shock myself. But. Spell Peers. No? Okay. Well, 
this seems like a reasonable position for me to be in then. So next turn, what do I need to do? Opposition. So I don't have double blue yet, so we'll wait on opposition. Um, so I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, so I could cast Elder. So I want to actually put this on top. I'll pay four to keep this, and then we'll play that. Uh, play the monument. Okay, we'll play the Elder. And we will attack with the Elvish Mystic. And we'll plus Fraley's. Okay. Yes, please. We find breeding pool. Okay. Um so we'll put this on top. We will pay for for that and we will shock ourselves. And then we're going to play opposition. Okay, we stop in their upkeep. Upkeep. They have four. I'm going to make one more. So I can attack with Elder. Okay. I did not see anything they were doing. They literally did not play a card. So I can't imagine I can really adjust. They also played f lands producing four cards colors? Yeah, everything but red. Uh, this looks like a decent hand again. Not as good as the last one, but no upkeep stop for now. Well, what hand did you keep? Okay, next turn I have three mana for kind of nothing. Din Protector, probably. Uh, yep, that's fine. I need to get the white down for Gideon. But I also would like to get the... I guess I should have played the Temple Garden, honestly. Oh, gosh. That's not what I wanted to see. Well... That's going to give me some trouble. Fairy Leaves can kill it at least, but I do have to like survive long enough and it's going to ruin my ramp creatures, so... Oh, that works too. I assume they will now kill the Rex Age. Yep. Okay. Yes, please. Go ahead. So 
How does it to equip two? Okay, so we can't do it this turn. Did he play? Yeah, he already played a land. I'm still gonna end up taking another hit off it though, unfortunately. And then Furley's will die. And I'm not in a great spot. That's not helpful. So let's play this. No shock. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I can play Frailies next turn. This is not equipped Chite. What is this? Scarab God. Okay. Hmm. So I have a choice here. Specifically. I could just play Freilis, kill the Gte, and then Freilis dies. It's probably what's happening. My other options are play Gideon, destroy the Din Protector. Maybe I need to do that. Hmm. Scarab God's going to be a big issue, though. I don't really have any way to deal with it. Hmm. Okay. I think we have to do this. We have to shock it. And then I think we do, in fact, play Gideon. I don't think killing Gta is something that has to happen this turn since they did not equip it. So, this is five? Four, okay. You need to pull Den Protector back once. Oh no, this is only when it's flipped up, right? Yeah, okay, so he actually can't pull it back for value. So now presumably Scarab God kills Gideon. Yeah, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could Freilis plus chump here. Okay. Because I need to have a creature on the field to actually use the opposition. So we'll plus here instead of minus. The intention being that this will chump block Scarab God so that Freilis will actually live. Then I can Freilis minus an opposition next turn. Oh, right, it's not going to live because of Scarab God. <sighs> that is true, huh? Because that makes four fours. So that was not the best play. Okay, something worse is happening. <laughs> yep. I don't see this working out. And I'd rather them not... Oh no, they already saw the opposition. Okay, so what matters now? Uh, did I see... So bribery is good enough. Right? At the very least, I could bribe his dumb thing. Well, it's actually not that great, is it? Although I bet he probably has other payoffs, too. Um, anything that I need to take out? I'm also wondering if maybe E-Witness is okay? Well, 
let's take out like procession for bribery, I guess. And O-ring stays in, sword stays in. Yeah, this seems okay. We'll play first. This hand is really mediocre. I think we have to mull that. This hand is fine. Yeah, I'll keep that. Okay. So this will be a turn three opposition. So I guess what we can do is we can just play this, not shocked, and then cast library this way, and then next turn I can play opposition. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to be using all my mana this turn, so I don't think I need to take anything. So let's just say uh, top and top. You happen, and we play opposition. Okay. So next turn, I'm probably just interested in Elder, and then start tapping. Buried Alive. Interesting. Angel Serenity, Bone Shredder, Iona. Okay. Um, we see Gideon additionally. Gideon's not going to be bad. Uh, I'm going to be using all... Yeah, I'm not going to have any slack mana. So we'll put it uh, top, top. Play Razor Verge tapped. Play Elder and stop in your upkeep. Okay, opposition, tap this. And opposition, tap this. Elves of Deep Shadow, okay. Gives him an extra black source, which is irritating, but... Okay, so yes, definitely use this ability. Um, put this on top, and we'll keep this in hand. Because now I can do this. And white, white, dee, dee, dee. Okay. So tap uh, here. And tap here. I know this does let him have black, but... GTA. GTA equip and can't attack. Okay. That's not that scary. Uh, yes, please. What do we see? Clamp O-ring. <laughs> okay, I don't really care about any of that, so I think we just say top and top. Gideon will go ahead and... Actually, maybe Gideon just zeroes? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think he will. No, I think he minuses. No. So the O-ring needs to get saved for one of the angels, I guess. Yeah, I think Gideon zeroes. Okay. And now I am going to tap down both of his black sources. Since he does, in fact, have this now anyway. No black. Okay. He has a black source, though. No reanimation. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have a land though. I guess I could get one off Elder. Don't even know that I want to though. Since I need stuff, well, I guess this replaces Elder, so. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. And then I can crack Elder for. Oh shit! Elder's two. <laughs> I thought it was only one. Okay. Well, in that case, we just have to keep doing what I was doing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will still cast it. So I can keep all of his black tapped. But I can't actually. Oh, right. For some reason, I thought this was a landfall. <laughs> it's not landfall. I just get them. Okay, so. Yes, really. What was I? I'm thinking of... I guess I'm just thinking of how you play, like, Tireless Tracker. I was thinking it was Landfall Make a Token. It's Landfall Put a Counter on them. You get them for each land immediately. So yes, definitely playing that was the right choice. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, don't need upkeep stops at the moment. Okay. Red makes me think that Mystic may not survive, but gotta try. Also makes me think that Kitchen Finks might be good. Well, Chromox is taking this in a different direction. I thought this was going to be Mono Red or something. Well, I think it still is. Chain Whirler, kill that. Okay. Uh, so now I guess we just play Wall of Roots. Do I care about playing Mana Vault this turn? I don't think so. I don't need it desperately. Definitely mono red. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Uh, so if I put a counter here, I can play Finks as well, right? My colors work for that. Yes. So. Lista for two. Okay. So I assume you'll pick off Wall of Roots, which is unfortunate. Okay. Huh. What do I do now? <laughs> I guess we just want to play out Elder. Yeah, I can have three green. And Library. So he could like put a counter on this, then pop the ballista to kill the Finx. I persist. Then I would have to like double block here. In fact, looks like that's what he's going to do. Although he should do it not like I said it, because he, he can prevent me from double blocking. I was going to do it this way. Okay. So let's grab uh, another island in case he strip mines me, and another... No, I don't need an island, because I have this. Well, but everything is double blue. So yeah, another island in case he strips mine, strip mines me, and he could strip mine me off doubles of both of these, which is more important. Probably the green. I guess maybe his plan is just to uh, put another counter on Ballista next turn and pop off Finks. Okay. So, it's potentially interesting, I guess. Uh, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana this turn. We could theoretically upheaval really badly. Uh, well, we can mana vault first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. And we can do it before... Wait, do I even have to play a land? One, two, three, four, five. I use one of it for this, and then I go up two, so that's seven. I don't even have to use a land. So we say put top and top. Okay. We're going to play the mana vault. Um, I guess we do just attack. I don't see any reason not to. Three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. OK. 
Okay, so we do this, 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 and we upheaval. Uh, we play, I don't know, I guess Savannah's fine. Now we have two mana with which we could play Library, but I don't want to. We could play Vault. I could play Vault and Signet if I topple the Vault. Like I play Vault, topple it, that gives me four mana. Then I could actually play out Library as well. Okay, that seems reasonable. So we play Vault, we topple the Vault, we play the Signet, and then we use... I could actually even play Sphinx, huh? Yeah, maybe that's even better. Replay Sphinx. Okay... And yes, go ahead. This is how much on top of four. Okay. Fire Drinker, I know, is in your hand. Mox and Prince. Fire Drinker. Okay, and then you're going to replay Pyromancer. Okay. So I can't pay yet. Hmm. Do I attack? I think I do. Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So, what's on top? I think it's the land, unfortunately. But I will get to dig deeper, so... Can't pay. Um, Revoker and Procession. I mean, I can't cast Procession. I don't need the forest. What are we going to revoke her, though? 
Well, I'm not sure that it is really going to matter because it's probably just going to end up blocking the Pyromancer. Wait, can we revoke Chromox? I always forget which one's activated. But yeah, this is choosing non land, so yeah, we can just name Chromox and say go. List for one, kill the revoker. Okay. And he hits me with Pyromancer. This was supposed to be the turn I could pay Vault. And I want to know if maybe uh, tapping the Vault was too, uh, too aggressive. Razor Verge. Okay, so I'm gonna have only four mana, so I can't cast this. So I think what we do is we say top, top, play Razor Verge, and uh... oh wait, I could have. For some reason, I thought Razor Verge was gonna come in on t was gonna come in tapped. Well, I couldn't have paid the four mana. I mean, the four life for it anyway, though. So there is that. So I could cast it next turn if I don't want a mana vault untap. And maybe I don't. Huh. First lightning. Oh, not my face. Why not my face? So I assume he wants to do this so that he can use Chain Wilder to kill it. Yeah, Chain Whirler, whatever. Okay. So now the question is. Am I going to prevent more than one damage by casting Procession? And I think the answer is yes. So I think I say no to this. Oh, but that just puts me dead. Because he's going to cast stupid thing. Maybe I'll find something here. He's going to cast uh, Hellrider. And then he'll just kill me from this. Spyglass doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. Huh. So, Spyglass doesn't do anything, really. I don't think he played anything that was Spyglassable. Yeah, this can't even stop Chrome Mox. Um, e Witness is maybe okay. Like, that's possible. Knight of the White Orchid is actually maybe not terrible. Balance is not terrible. Something like that. I don't think I need Sanctity. He didn't have that much burn or anything. I guess Awakening Zone, also not terrible. Don't need Bribery. Um, Anything else that's bad here? I 
I mean, Revoker is not amazing. That's for sure. Um, it is just a body, though, which is fine. I don't think Fraley seems amazing. Okay. Then we put in... I'll be on the play, so White Orchid isn't that great on the play. So we're looking at, like, probably E-Witness as a body, and then am I more interested in Balance or Awakening Zone? Probably Awakening Zone. Yeah, okay. My feeling is probably that he might be ahead on creatures, maybe, but I'll probably be ahead on lands and cards, so I'm not totally sure that it does that much for me. Burst Lightning the Mystic. Oh, it's actually Burst Lightning the Mystic. Okay. Ballista for one, kill the birds. This isn't the worst. I can e-witness one of them. I could just play Elder. What do we draw? Revoker? I think we might just play Elder. Since I don't like have something to ramp into specifically, I might be able to e-witness for something better. No play. Okay. Well, now I have something to ramp into. <laughs> um, hmm. And I am actually missing a land drop, so I probably actually do want to pop him off. So it's better to clamp him, it's cheaper. So we'll clamp you. It plus just draws two cards, so you have removal. Okay, so then I'll sack him, so I can't do two things, but it's still fine. I draw my card, they don't lose or they don't gain life. Uh, so I would like to get, I guess, a plains and an island. Draw a card, temple garden, this fizzles, and this goes nowhere. I play temple garden, no shock, and say go. So next turn I can e-witness back one of my... I don't like you at all. <laughs> Can you witness back one of my things? Okay. The fact that these are all one toughness is really scaring me. I could also just e-witness back Elder. Can't play in this turn, but I could play Revoker instead. Or 
I could just get one of these back and clamp it immediately. Maybe that's what I do, actually. I kind of like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have seven mana next turn. Yeah, I think it, we're probably better off just clamping instead of trying to ramp to Ulamog right away. Clamp away. And draw. Ooh, okay. That'll take care of it. blocks. Much rather clamp it than gain three. What you got? You have Hazret. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can revoke her Hazret. Could also theoretically chains, I mean, uh, swords it, but I think I'd rather swords this. Um, so I could just play out, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I think we're going to swords this for sure, so I might as well just do it. We're going to play out Pilgrim. We're going to play out Revoker. I am opening myself up to just massive Chain Whirler issues. <laughs> but I don't think I have a way around that. Hazareth the Fervent has no ability. Or can't be activated. Uh, no reason to clamp anything. So I might very well be... No, actually, wait. Maybe I do need to clamp. I was about to say I might very well be upheavaling, but will I? Maybe, actually. So yeah, go ahead and attack. And in that case, I kind of want all these, because then I can rebuy the ETB on Witness. This is ramp for the upheaval, and this is... So what I don't want to see here is Chain Wilder. Rift Bolt. Okay. Lava Mancer. Okay. Avenger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think we actually just want to play Avenger then. That actually seems really good. So in that case, we will play it like this. We immediately get the land. They are no longer chain whirlable. And then we uh, want to attack with the e-witness, I guess. Okay. He's probably going to pop off Hazaret. Or pop off Revoker so he can use Hazaret. But I'm kind of like, not that worried, I guess, at this point. Eh, I guess I'm still a little bit worried. It's not like I can chomp Hazaret forever. To the face, okay. And then, what is this? Dual caster, okay. That's actually really scary. Huh. So 
I'm at six, huh? What do we draw? Gideon. What does Gideon do here? Uh, Gideon could immediately emblem for Anthem emblem. So let's say that I have Gideon immediately emblem. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just eight. So I can't Ulamog. Uh, let's say that I Gideon, and then I attack for these alone attack for 12. Am I in danger of dying? Lava Mancer can't do anything. Hazaret isn't going to be able to double activate at the very least. So if I attack with literally everything, what do his blocks look like? So let's say that I Gideon, do that, then that's uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, plus 6, 16, plus another 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 6. So that's 26. He blocks the biggest, so he blocks like here and here. Uh, that cuts out 6, so we're at 20 and 3. That's actually Xaxes. I guess I could have clamped something too. In fact, I probably should have. I probably should have clamped like the pilgrim. Okay. Um, any changes? On the draw, I might like knight, and then I pull out spectral. Seems reasonable. Smuggler's Cofter might also be okay against him. Actually, yeah, maybe. Take out Rex Sage? Ow. Well, this is not doable. This is not good, but I probably have to keep it on the draw. Find a land. Okay, that's a land. No play? Wow. Okay. I play library, and hopefully I can use this to find my next land drop. Play Awakening Zone. S something. This also makes Rex Age good. Chain Whirler, a Johnny Vengeant, shit. Okay. That's not great. In fact, it's really terrible because I can't do anything now. That was just, that was just terrible. Uh, well, in that case, I'm gonna like have to keep these in my hand, or I'm just gonna be locked, right? I guess I keep like one of them in my hand. I don't think I can just take eight. Oh, that was.
was so bad for me. Yep. He certainly realizes just how bad it was. He had such a slow start too, I had hope. Okay, come on, let's find something. Island. Okay. Okay. So we put on top, put on top, play the island, play the signet. Okay. I'll have to find something to deal with you. O-ring, I guess, or it's just going to become an issue. What does he have in his hand? Just nothing? If I'm able to Rexage this turn, it might be okay, because I can kill this and then try to start pressuring him, and he might have to minus. Okay. Top. Top. Play the planes. Play the Rex Sage. Wait, we play the Wall of Roots and then play the Rex Sage. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's something. It's not incredible by any means, but maybe now he has to... Of course, he could have just been holding, like, Creature Burn that he didn't have a chance to use yet. So he just, like, burns out the Rex Age. But my hope is that he has to, like, minus the Ajani. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. It's not enough for Oolong, that's for sure. Don't have enough for opposition. Clamping the Wall of Roots does nothing, obviously. Clamping the Rex Age is not going to happen because if he doesn't kill it, I want to have it live so it can attack. Uh, what did I put on top? Stuff I didn't want. What was it? Crap, I can't remember. Elder. Yava, my elder is on top, which lets me shuffle. And under it was something I wanted not at all, I think. I don't remember what it was. Something big. Hazaret, I guess, is five mana. And it would be able to attack and block. His hand is so low. Bonfire of the Damned for two. Okay. I didn't think it was going to live. Yep, and he is at seven. <sighs> okay. I don't have double blue for upheaval. <sighs> He's gonna get to old Johnny. Really? Really? Well, I guess I can have Elder out. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Okay, so we put these on top. We're going to play the Elder. Okay, we clamp the Elder. Um, I would like this to go on first. Yeah, I want to shuffle first. Forest and plains, I guess. No, forest and island. Yeah. Okay. Draw two. I don't want to play any lands out. Um... So I guess we just clamp the wall for no particular reason other than I guess now he can't attack with Lava Mancer, although he'd probably just, I guess he could burn this now, but I think that's actually fine. And uh, say go. Presumably he now Johnny's. Circo Bell Striker. Well, I guess that's a reason not to have clamped. He is not going to do it. Okay. I think that might give me a chance then. Okay. Yes, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, I could actually play Avenger. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need the seventh, so I can't Gaia's Cradle after. So I think what we do then, although I might just need to play Finx. Eh, I don't think so. So he on the board can do five to me and put me at three, and then I'm like dead to Rift Bolt. That's actually really bad for me. Okay, so let's say instead that I keep Finx and I'll play this next turn and then I'll be able to Cradle immediately. So we put uh, this on top, we put this on top. We're going to play the Finx. Okay. Um, and then I guess we might as well go ahead and play this as well. Okay. Um, say go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I should play out one land. Oh, he can't Johnny anyway. I should definitely play out a land. Okay. He did not want to love him answer? That seems like a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll only have nine from that. Okay, he's back to this. 
Bell Striker, but I'll block Bell Striker, that's fine. Jackal Pup. Okay. Uh, use Awakening Zone. Y yes, please. Use Sylvan. It's going to be yes, please. Although I know what's happening. So this is top and top. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So we go ahead and we do this. I draw some cards. I go ahead and I cast Avenger. Okay. I go ahead and play Gaia's Cradle. Yes, please. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana off that. Um, do I need to do anything else? Probably I need to attack with Kitchen Finks. Attack a Johnny. Yep, that's fine. And then uh, I think we just clamp one of the plants. Okay, go ahead. Okay, low on time. But I can Ulamog next turn. Uh, top, top, I guess, whatever. Uh, do this seven, eight, nine, ten for Ulamog. Exile this and, uh, this, I guess. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Maybe the planes was the right choice. This just makes him have to do this now. Okay. Uh, play a land. Use the ability. Okay. Uh, go to attacks. Attack. and play Gideon. Oh, Gideon probably could have actually just uh, minused there. That was a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, no, it would not have been lethal for Gideon to minus. Okay. I don't even really want to use Sylvan's ability. We just want to attack. I really doubt that he has any way to uh, stop this. Char. He was very close to being able to stop that. Does he have another burn spell? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Whew. I need a drink of water. I'll be right back.
Okay, in the finals, we've refunded. Okay. I will play first. This hand is fine. Okay, so next turn I play birds and signet, if I would like. Well, probably not. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, so what I do... Oh, I actually can't... Oh, no, I, I can do it just fine. You play it this way. Play Cradle. Use Cradle. Oh, I can actually do literally everything. Play Signet. Because I can still tap this for mana, too. Play Spyglass. And we see... Nothing much. I mean, the only thing really to use this on is Siege Gang Commander. And that's not that exciting. But, I mean, that's what we're going to use it on. Siege Gang. Siege Siege Gang. Siege Gang has a dash. Okay. So. Um, next turn we'll just play Gideon. So I need his hand up, please. Okay, Mountain out. Probably going to play Eidolon of the Great Revel, but that's fine. Then I'll play Manglehorn and blow up the Signet, probably. I doubt he cares about this. So, um, I guess we just need to uh, play Gideon. Okay, go ahead. I assume it's going to be Forest Minglehorn, but losing the Signet at this point isn't really that big a deal. I have all the mana I need. It's not going to be that. He's drawn something else. Chain Whirler. Wielder. Although even that's not that bad. Sulfuric Vortex. Okay. Okay.
So I think he's going to have a hard time keeping up with the damage. That's his forest, and he plays Manglehorn. Okay. Presumably, okay. At this point, it actually does make a lot more sense to kill the uh, Spyglass. Because now you can throw these at my face to get ahead. Well, I do need to draw something that is not just land. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do here is maybe minus Gideon attack with Pilgrim Ally. That guarantees that some damage gets th through he can't die because I can chump with birds. Or I can just zero. Maybe I just need to start zeroing. Okay. Thought you might do that. Okay. I also have like Rex Age too. Wait, Rex Age is main board? Yeah, Rex Age is main board, right? Yeah. Probably want to bring in Disenchant too. Okay, so Siege Gang comes out. This can speed up the clock a lot, and it creates a bunch of ground blockers. It's unfortunate. Good draw would be nice here. O-ring is perfect. So what are we actually O-ring? <laughs> we could O-ring the Siege Gang, or we could O-ring the Sulfuric. Um, I think we O-ring the... Uh, The siege gang actually. Okay. Um, we're going to attack with Pilgrim and Ally because I need to punch through his stuff. Oh, I, for some reason I thought this was just can't block. That's not what it is at all. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so we clear two of these. But no, he can block that. Okay, play that. And say go. I don't know why I thought that. I thought I was able to free roll the pilgrim attack. I don't know anything about your hand. Ooh, sort of body and mind. Well, that sucks. I guess this is white, so that's something, but... Now I'm going to have to, like, double chump? That took a turn. And he's going to start making tokens. Uh, no, no, that's only if it hits. But I actually don't have to double chump. Why didn't he make me double chump? Okay, so now I need something decent. Something decent, please. Vault does not count. Because now I'm just stuck in, like, this uh, holding pattern. And I'll play the vault, but... OK. 
Okay. And now I'm in a very weak position. Because basically anything that he does, like burn spell to clear the night or something, and things start getting out of control. Hazard the Fervent with haste. That also counts. So I bet it's double attack. I chump with birds. Okay. Yes, I'm in a very weak position now. <laughs> something good. Come on, something good. Huh. That doesn't really count either. I guess it lets me uh, stave off stuff for a little bit longer, but I really need to draw something powerful. Something powerful. Frickin' Zergo is giving me tons of trouble. So we go to blocks, we have to double chump again. I don't even know what I can draw at this point. Can I even cast Ulamog? Maybe? Problem is, like, I'm basically dead to Hazaret right now. And that doesn't do it. Dang it, that was going so well. Um, We'll bring in Disenchant for sure. We will bring in... This is pro-red, right? No, it's not, actually. Um, that's probably what I want to bring in. And we pull out Spectral. Definitely play first. Mm, yeah, this hand is acceptable. Mold six keep and bottom. Okay, we'll play this, no shock. Then next turn we get to play either Signet or Library. I wonder which is better. Probably Signet. Sage is a good draw, so I'll definitely be sitting on that. Um, so I think we'll just play this, no shock, and then we'll just play uh, Kitchen Finks, which is quite good against him. Okay, go ahead. Gonna burn it out immediately? No, me. Okay. What you got? Sword of Light and Shadow. Okay, you can't put it on anything right now though, so I think that's... I don't need to like, Rex Sage it immediately. Okay, so I have five mana, so I can actually just do everything. So I guess he 
could play a two drop haste creature. Sulfuric Vortex. Okay. Actually, I think that's in my favor right now, isn't it? We'll see. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Because I might want to do some of this stuff. Um. So this can stop Raging Ravine. Maybe I'm just not in a rush? Maybe what I do is I just um, put something like on top, on top, play Spyglass. I was thinking about like playing the Rex Age, clamping the Rex Age or whatever, but Hmm. Okay. That actually does make things scarier. I probably want to clamp that then, right? Or, sorry, uh, spyglass that. Hmm. How much? Seven? Or I could just do Raging Ravine? Eh, it's probably the dragon, right? I could also actually just take out the sword. Actually, yeah, let's take out the sword. Sword of Light and Shadow can't be equipped. So now I don't have to worry about that anymore, and I can just Rex Sage the Vortex. So next turn, I'm going to draw a clamp, and then I can clamp the Rex Age. So I assume you're just going to cast the Hasty Guy. Yeah, okay. The thing is, I'm actually hitting you for more damage than that. So I guess it's fine. It is pro-white, which is kind of irritating. That's basically all my ways to remove it, but... Ooh, I don't have double blue. Dang it. Uh, but let's put, I mean, the clamp's just gonna draw through this. I can't afford to spend life. So I think we just say top, top. We're gonna hit. I guess I could have played the clamp, put it on the Finx to get an extra point of damage. Wonder if that was gonna matter. Okay, play this, and if we can ever find a blue source, then we'll be pretty happy. I guess we should go ahead and clamp this in case, and say go. So yeah, I could have gotten an extra point of damage, and actually that does change the clock. That could have been a serious error. Manglehorn destroy clamp, Manglehorn destroy spyglass, okay. So what is this? You gain three and you can return a creature card. So I mean him getting three is gonna be a hassle. That is for sure. That 
That's not a bad one. Oh, no, it's pro white. Okay, what else can we find? A blue source? I did find a blue source. Okay, so let's put these like what? It's unfortunate that I don't have another creature, but um, so we put them like. I need this, obviously, so I guess we just put. Which is more important, Gideon? Probably Gideon. So top, top, play this, play this. Okay. Um, and say go. Wish I had more creatures out, obviously, but. them having one more creature like that, it's going to be a problem. At least they weren't able to activate like the Raging Ravine or something. Oh my gosh, they have another sword? Are you serious? Okay, they're going to put it on the Minglehorn. And I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Since this is now pro blue green, I guess Gideon can kill it next turn, but it's still not going to be great. Are they going to put them both there? That does make sense, actually. Okay. So. All this is going to happen. Can't do anything about that. I would have had to have tapped it in response, and then he would have just used this. So, uh, we have to use this. This can't block anyway, so we might as well opposition with it. This is all going to happen. Oh no, he has white from... He has pro white from the sword as well. So Gideon actually, uh, Gideon can make it attack him once, but that's it. I'm gonna need something good. And I don't even know what that is. With him having Mutavault too. Words to plowshares. Okay. Oh, right, I don't Gideon. I was like, wait, where's Gideon? <laughs> uh, Gideon can't stop it. This is pro everything. I can't do anything. Okay. Dang it. Well, still, I refunded. That wasn't so bad. So, yeah, I'll definitely be doing more. Thanks for watching.